Hey, there. There it is. Hi. Uh, my mic was muted. Imagine that. That never happens. <laughs> Anyways, welcome, friends, to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and I am so happy to be here. Happy Monday to you, friends. Um, it, it's. I, I was just thinking about it is almost the end of January. Uh, it, it's, again, time has no meaning these days. You know, it is what it is. But thank you for spending a part of your evening here with us today. Much appreciated. We're going to play some games tonight. We're going to hang out with an amazing person. We've got Kate Elliott on deck, folks. So hang out with us. We're going to chat. We're going to talk to her about her journey into board games and content creation, all kinds of good stuff. And then we're going to play Shards of Infinity. This is one of my favorite deck building games. And... The fact that they have it online now is awesome. It, it's just, it's amazing because now I can play anytime I want. And I don't have to shuffle cards. You know, it's it's all about not having to shuffle cards, friends. So hang out, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be playing that soon. Want to shout out everyone in chat. First of all, Amanda Panda is our chat moderator. Folks, behave or else she busts out the ban hammer. You don't want that to happen to you. Um, also shout out to Mrs. Gav 2020. That's my wife, Michelle. Hi, babe. Um, we've also got, hey, Michael Petrie's in the house. P Petri Games, thanks for joining us. Good to see you on here. Slackfish, as always, is in here. Thank you. Audio is good. Thank you. Richard Matney is in, in the house. I wanted to shout out Richard, folks. Uh, Richard is the owner of Board Game Paradise. Uh, right there, Board Game Paradise here in Southern California. It's a pop-up shop over here in Redlands, California, Board Game Paradise. The reason why I mention it is because they have, <coughs> excuse me, Shards of Infinity in stock right now. So if you want the actual game, I highly, highly recommend it. It's got the deck built. It's a deck building game. It's, I, I don't know what the list price is, but please support uh, your local game store. And that is Board Game Paradise here in Redlands, California. Thank you for dropping by, Richard. Much appreciated, friend. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, uh, Amanda Panda says she loves Shards as well. Nice. That's always Always good to hear, folks. I, I love hearing all the love for Shards because it is such a great uh, deck building game. So um, let's see. So as we always do here on Tabletop Tonight, um, we talk about stream snacks. Folks, what are you eating and or drinking? Let us know in chat what you have going on. Um, I'm going to be eating dinner afterwards. I was a little... I've been running... Uh, late today, uh, so I'm gonna have a late dinner right after the stream. Um, Michelle made uh, some pasta, chicken and pasta, which I I love the chicken that she does. It's like a lemon buttery chicken. Oh, okay. I better stop talking because I'm getting hungry. Um, I've also got some agua, some water to uh, stay hydrated. And um, but let me know what y'all have. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Legends DMs in the house. Aloha, Legends. Good to see you. Slackfish has got unsalted peanuts. Very nice. Good choice. Um, and. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I keep thinking about that chicken. Like, I'm going to tear up dinner tonight, folks. I am going to tear it up. So I hope you're being well fed. Again, if you're just joining us, my name is Ruel Gaviola. Thank you for hanging out. This is Tabletop Tonight. I play games here with family and or friends and sometimes solo games as well. Monday through Thursday here on Twitch at 7 p.m. Pacific. You can also find me all over the internet. I do uh, board game uh, board game plays for board game spotlight on Facebook Live. I just got done with them at 4 p.m. Pacific. We I, I played a game called the Rune Lords board game, which is now on Kickstarter. So check that out if you can. Um, also do various uh, uh, live streams throughout the week. I do want to mention one thing. There is a big event coming up this Saturday, folks. So if you're free this Saturday, the entire day, starting at noon until Sunday at noon, we have a 24-hour stream. Um, I'm, I help coordinate with the Brothers Murph. It's called Tabletop Live Network. 12 of us, there's 12 channels, we're going to stream back to back. So we're going to raid each other throughout 20, a 24-hour period. It's 12 channels. We've got channels here in the U.S., uh, East Coast and West Coast. We've got um, streamers in the U.K., the Netherlands, Germany, and Australia. So it's going to be amazing. We've done, uh, this is our third one. This is our first one that we're doing 24 hours. Uh, there's so many good channels. Amanda Panda will be streaming um, the Brothers Murph. Board Game Blitz, the Lusa Palooza, all kinds of fantastic uh, streamers. So please come by and support us. Yes, hashtag TLN. It's it's going to be awesome. And we just well, I, I've we've announced it in the um, in our little Discord channel. But I do want to announce that we've got two sponsors that are going to be sponsoring uh, the stream. We've got the Op, who's going to be that's our uh, premier sponsor. And I'm going to put this on the socials in our on the pay, Facebook page soon. But we also have Tabletop. They're going to be one of our sponsors. They're going to be sponsoring our raids when they happen. It's it's we got something fun uh, planned. So stick around and come back on Saturday, folks. That's Saturday starting at 12 noon Pacific. Um, we're going to start with the Lusa Palooza channel and then we're going to raid for 24 hours straight. It's 
I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's been it's been an awesome process, like booking uh, the channels and scheduling stuff. It's been crazy, but it's been a lot of fun. And the first two events, we had a really good response. So please um, come by and support and hang out. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be a lot of good times. Uh, Legends DM says, Paleo, this war of mine, Ripple Rush and Rescue Animals. I know Ripple Rush. Um, this war of mine, I've always wanted to play. Oh, hi, babe. Hey, you want to say hi to everyone? My wife, Michelle. She just hi. brought me tea, folks. You waving at me? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Uh, this is raspberry tea tonight and yes. with honey and lemon, right? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's right. really hot. So. Oh, it's hot. Okay, thanks. Beware. Folks, I, I'm spoiled beyond belief, folks. I am totally spoiled. And yes, um, this is a shout out. Yeah. Uh, M Michelle's the best. Y'all know she spoils me. So thank you to Michelle. Um, yeah, Kate is online. Is right there, folks. Uh, she's chatting away. We are. <laughs> I, I love the fact that we always talk about how when Michelle waves, she'll stop by and wave. Friends in chat, they will wave too. So <laughs> feel free to wave. Um, you know, make yourself at home. Pull up. Pull up a chair, chill with us. We're going to hang out, play a game, and chat with uh, Kate in just a minute. I do want to do one thing before we get uh, bring Kate on here. We've got a couple of new followers, and I, I want to thank everyone because we just hit the 1,000 followers um, mark, folks. So thank you all. Couldn't have done it without your support. And whenever we get a new follower here on the channel, again, we do analog alerts, and Felicia the follow fish shows up whenever there's a new follower. Felicia swims around, says hi, thanks to the new followers, and then she takes off. And all of us, including y'all in chat, we all say, bye, Felicia. Thanks for the follows, uh, new followers. Much appreciated. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Tabletop Tonight. And I'm going to bring on our guest. Kate Elliott has been on the internet, internet since 2006. She grew up in England and lives in California. She has a cute dog named Ding Ding, and she's the owner of KVEPhotography.com. And is Kate, Kate is online on Twitch. Friends, without further ado, let's bring on... Kate Elliott. Let me see if I can do this right. Uh, hi, Kate. <laughs> Hello. How Thank are you? Thank you for having me. Oh, my goodness. I'm doing my best. How are you? I'm, I'm hanging in there. Thank you again for joining me. Much appreciated. I, I love the background that you have. That is just... <gasps> Thank That's you awesome. so much. My very best friend got that for me because I like to keep a messy room and she <laughs> hates to see it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I, it's very uh, peaceful. And before we came uh, on, we we're just talking about how we're dealing with you know, everything that's going on in the world. And I, we, we sort of talked about how live streaming is helping, you know, with, with all of this. Can you want to talk about a little bit about that? What's, what's happening? Absolutely. So first of all, the fact that we have the internet in this time, it's a real blessing. I did my very first gratitude journaling last night and I had to say, I'm thankful and grateful for the internet because in this time we get to stay home, but we get to play games. We get to see our friends' faces. We get to hear their voices. If we're lonely and don't have any friends available, we can hop on Twitch. I mean, it's, it's top luxury. We are living better than any king has ever lived, despite the horror of the world right now. We should all be grateful for this because, oh my goodness, I spent my whole day in this room alone and now I'm here with all of you and that's such a blessing. Oh my gosh, that's so well said. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. That's beautifully said. It's so true. The internet is, you know, as bad as it can be sometimes, it can be used for good as well. And just a moment, Kate, we do have a raid coming in. I would like to thank our friends, Meepleville, for raiding. Thank you. You get the raiding hat, folks. Thank yeah. you for raiding. And you know what? Not only me, but Kate has also got her raiding hat. Look at that. <laughs> birthday reading that as well so meepleville cafe thank you so much tommy miller's in the house daryl b gaming's in the house clyde 3b frank qb thank you gil goots what's up fam good to see y'all here my hat is off to you friends thank you for the raid much appreciated now you have a birthday hat on kate was that I do. For, yeah was that a special occasion recently that yeah it was christmas no i'm kidding <laughs> it was my birthday recently and I, I i wore this for the occasion and a big cupcake costume that was hideous and I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And that's one way we're dealing with the all the things we got to do. You know, silly mm -hmm. hats, whatever it takes. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, well, let's let's back up a little bit now that we've uh, settled down here. Let, let's talk about so gaming, gaming wise. Mm -hmm. You know, I always talk. I whenever I have guests on here, I always I'm really curious about how you got into games and especially modern games. But you know, let's take take you back to you know when you were a child and. <laughs> You know, did you just jump right into Magic the Gathering right out the womb? Or did oh my gosh, I wish, I wish so hard. No, I was thinking about this earlier today because I knew you were going to ask this question. And I realized the first game I ever truly played and fell in love with was Pokemon Blue 
on Game Boy and I had that little LED light. Oh. You have to position it right or it glares, you know. <laughs> oh, that was multiple summers. And then I realized my very first console was a PlayStation 1. And I had some cool games on that, but there was one game I played two summers in a row and it was Bass Fishing Pro. No and way, I got really? Real good at catching those bass. <laughs> No way. I remember that game. Oh, my oh gosh. My, yeah. So I have a wide variety of things I'm into, uh, but I, I will honestly try any game at least once because I found there's a lot to be enjoyed about everything. Like this game yeah. that you're about to show me today, I realized is similar to two other games I play um, and Magic. But since you mentioned Magic, I will say I've stayed away from it like the plague. Oh, really? Because it's too expensive and there's too many things to learn and I'm going to get yeah. too obsessed. Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. I, I got deeply addicted to World of Warcraft for 10 years. I cannot get into Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I understand yeah. myself. I totally get, <sighs> I totally understand. Uh, yeah. Real quick, uh, I do want to uh, shout out our friend uh, Slackfish. Slackfish has gifted five subs. So, oh! folks, we have an alert. We have, alert. we have five brand new subscriptions. Thank you, Slackfish, as always, for alert. the support. Alert. Oh, that's awesome. The alert. Yeah. And look, it's, it's Blastoise. Oh my god. That's so cool. I love it. We do we do analog stuff, so we do gift, 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 gift. Thank you for the gift, Slackfish. There's the gift hat. Thank you. Yeah. Michelle made me the gift hat. Bravo. Bravo to thank you. Thank you. Yes. And thank you, Slackfish. It's so generous of you. Folks. Enjoy the subs. Thank you for hanging out. If you're here for the first time, my name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Tabletop Tonight. I'm here with my friend Kate Elliott. We're talking about games. We're going to play a game. We're just hanging out, chatting right now. Um, <laughs> it's a lovely day for a chat. Um, you know, here in Southern California, we've been having rainy weather recently, which is weird to me because we usually have a lot more rain in December, but lately it's just been dry out here. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it was nice to have the rain, um, but I don't know what it is. I, I miss like just normal see, like normal weather, like you know, just be cold in January. <laughs> like, you know, we don't have to we do anything crazy. Yeah, right. Um, but anyways, uh coming back, let's let's talk about so Magic the Gathering you're staying away from now. But you did you used to play it though, correct? I didn't actually. The closest I ever got was Hearthstone, which I still play now, which is okay. basically Magic Light. And this game's kind of like Magic Light, actually. Um, but there's just so much I I I I will get obsessed, I will get competitive, and I will break friendships. So I just don't, <laughs> it's just too dangerous. Nice. And Kate, I just noticed you gave away five gift subs as well. I just oh my goodness. To that hat again. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So you are going to get, folks, alert, alert. We have five new subscriptions. <laughs> Thanks to our guest and friend, Kate Elliott. Thank you, Kate. Is alert, 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 alert. Yes, there it is. <laughs> and we also gift, 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 gift. gift. There it is, Kate. My hat is off to you, friend. Thank you for thank the you. gifts. <laughs> Friends, th uh, th thanks to Kate for the gift subs. Enjoy the subs. Thank you for hanging out. And Slackfish is all sorry, Kate. We we do things so silly around here. Slackfish has spent 100 bits. And whenever someone spends bits on this channel, we bring out Benny the Bits Bear. <gasps> Hello, friends. This is Benny. Thank you for spending bits. Hello, Kate. I'm Benny. You didn't realize you were gonna get Hi, into this. Benny. <laughs> you sound just like me okay bye -bye. thanks for spending bits friends bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> thanks slackfish for the bits so much appreciated yeah. this is how, this is how we roll kate this is i love it i'm here Thank i'm you. here for it Thank you. <laughs> uh now as far as um so you know we're talking about video games and stuff uh did you do like the like a lot of us did like you know monopoly risk and all those that classic was jam. Monopoly. Was that jam that nice. was my jam, and I loved playing it with the other kids in school, but I have to say the school I went to, nobody liked nerds, and I was the only one. <laughs> so I didn't get to play video games or board games with anyone until my 20s when I moved back to America, and I found this community, and I was like, <gasps> oh. people. I was yeah. so ready. Oh, my gosh. And yeah. um, so you, you came back here. You got? Mm -hmm. Did you play Monopoly right away, or were you introduced to, like, uh, like Catan? We went or... straight into Catan, and I yeah. don't remember. It was great. Nice, nice. <laughs> I still haven't found anyone to play Monopoly with. No one likes it anymore. But other games, it's all on. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever played a Monopoly Deal? It's like the card game version of Monopoly. No. Oh, <laughs> so think of Monopoly, but instead of, like, 20 hours or however long it takes, it's only, like, 
30 at the most 20 30 minutes and it's That's just cards it, it's fun and you can totally get it for like five bucks or whatever it's it's awesome. totally cheap yeah highly recommend it and i can for, trick people into playing monopoly perfect yes totally <laughs> <laughs> now so you know you're 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 back here you, you come back you're playing games and so you got into content creation a long time ago. Like you are like the OG vet of content creation, I feel like. So it's so weird to say that. <laughs> do you want to yeah. talk about that a little bit? Like, Sure, absolutely. I, I joined YouTube when I was 17 years old in 2006. And this was back in the days before Google bought YouTube. And it was just its own jam run mm -hmm. by two guys. And this was so long ago that I was featured on the YouTube homepage four or five times during my first couple of years on YouTube, which is wow. just outrageous. Yeah. I had plans to go to college and study game design. I actually had a place at university to get that degree, but I was able to really dive into the YouTube community, start traveling, came to California, got to meet people like you. And honestly, I've, I've not had a single regret. It has been one of the best things that's ever happened to me, even though it's been a completely wild ride. Yeah. Um, I've been content creating for 15 years now, which is crazy to think wow. about. But I just want you all to know, everyone on here who has a skill in content creation, that will continue to apply itself to new jobs. I keep finding new ways to support myself and my family through those skills. So if you're good at streaming or you're good at photography or you're good at marketing, all of that can apply to new stuff. So especially in quarantine, You've got this. You can find a good job doing what you love from home. You've got the skills. You've got the talent. You just need to realize that you're a manager or you're a producer or you yourself could be a content creator. Just have the bravery, have fun with it, and do it. Make yourself happy and live your best life because you deserve that. That's amazing folks if you're not fired up folks like i'm fired <laughs> up for you. that that was like totally yeah that, that's it folks right there you i think that's the biggest thing that i'm learning like i just started streaming like individually by myself last year in march and i'm learning all about like the technical like obs like you would ask me last year about obs i always said i have no is that like a like cereal <laughs> i don't i have no idea what that is <laughs> Right. What, flavor is it? what flavor is OBS? I don't know. Uh, it's it's apparently not not that good tasty, but not it doesn't taste so good. But um, yeah. But uh, you know, I'm learning all the like technical skills, and I'm also learning, like you said, like management, and like you know, having to you know, having, having to basically talk to people at different uh, parts of like different departments or whatever when you're going to you know when I'm I'm trying to talk to a, a potential sponsor. For the show you know i've got to say well i can do this this and this so it's almost like salesmanship at that point like selling yeah, as well that's marketing you're marketing. doing like, it yeah yeah uh, so you know you've you've been doing it for so long kate yeah. Have, what are some of the biggest either changes or challenges that you've seen over the years what is has it shifted at all I, it's got to have shifted yeah. right oh my gosh absolutely there was a time when oh you got some gifts. I'm going to let you put the hat on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Really? There's more gifts? Oh, Y'all are crazy. Thank you I so much. It. Pantry. Hey, Pantry, thank you for the gift. Oh, okay. Here, here are the signs. I, I, I Alert. Alert. <laughs> we have five new subscriptions. Thanks to our friends, Pantry Games. Pantry Games, thank you so much. You get the gift, 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 <laughs> gift, 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 gift. There's the gift hat. My hat is off to you, friend. Thank you so much. Uh it's so kind of you. Y'all are being so generous. Appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out with us. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. We were talking I about too. I was gonna ask you what I was saying. No. Oh, okay. Uh content creation. How has it shifted in oh. the last 15 years since you first started out? And That's now yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. How has it changed to today? Yeah. Um, I would say uh it it has fluctuated so much because when I first started YouTube, there was absolutely no money in it. There was no monetization. There was no ad revenue. There was no way to make money off it. And over the years, it became easier and easier to create lots and lots of content, monetize it, and support yourself. So I, I watched people quit their regular jobs to go on and create content. But then Google bought YouTube and then the new ads came in and there were a bunch of other preferences that came in. A lot of hand swishy things happened from Google and a lot of people couldn't afford to support themselves through that anymore. So they branched out into Instagram, they branched out into Twitter, they started doing more sponsorships. Twitch became a thing. I watched that whole thing go down. It's the yeah. best thing that has come out of the internet so far, apart from sharing world knowledge and wisdom. 
whatever. It's about the games. <laughs> yeah. And this has been amazing because people are able to support themselves and do what they love from home. And it really, really just sticks it to those people when we were kids who said, Stop playing video games. You're never going to make money playing video games. And it's like, <laughs> okay, honey, shall I buy you dinner? Because you're broken on that. <laughs> so another thing, if you want to do Twitch, do it. There is always going to be someone out there for you. Your tribe is waiting for you. Your friends are waiting for you. You'll have fun doing it no matter what, because that is what it's all about. If you want to do Twitch, you know you're going to have fun doing it. You wouldn't want to do it otherwise. And if you're having fun doing your job, your job will never be work. And that's what really counts. So making money on Twitch was great. And then there was a couple of other rules that came into play and people started making less money on Twitch because there were so many people on Twitch. So now people are branching into other things. I'm really using my hands tonight, uh, <laughs> like consultation for marketing and branding and stuff like we were talking about earlier. People who are working at studios and helping TV shows get off the ground can now go home with all of that knowledge and get their own Twitch channel off the ground. Or if you're super cheeky, you can make your own OnlyFans, but I'm only going to say that once. Check out my Twitter. <laughs> there it is, folks. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I just want, I, I got a, I, a dude on wheels says Kate is such a great human. Yes. Agreed. Thank you. A dude on Carlos wheels. And I love him very deeply. He's a <laughs> wonderful human being. Nice. Nice. Uh, and so again, friends, thank you for the gifts. Uh, it's much appreciated. Y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. This is Kate Elliott. We're hanging out. We're going to play some games. We're just, we're hanging out and chilling, talking about her uh, adventures in content creation. Um, Kate, how did, so we actually met, uh, I think it was like two years ago, uh, the Geek uh, Geek and Sundry set. Uh, mm -hmm. We played eForge um, as Becca Scott was like refereeing or whatever. But mm -hmm. how did how did you uh, get involved with Geek and Sundry? I'm very lucky. I happen to know one person who I was good friends with, and then he happened happened he made it happen he started working at geek and sundry and asked if i could come on and have some fun with friends and that was don't zoom in on me when i have to burp oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's gone now it's done but i got my foot in through the door through one friend and then i have made lifelong friends since through that community it is such a blessing i will always love geek and sundry for that they've had some incredible people on there i'm so grateful for them because i got to meet you I never would have met you otherwise, I don't think, especially with yeah. quarantine happening. Yep. And I literally met you for Keyforge and I was like, that's a good dude. I want to <sighs> know that dude. Let's be friends. And that's yeah. pretty much what that community was about. And anyone who misbehaved was like, like a panda would kick him right out the door. Yep. Man, panda <laughs> kick right out the door. So it's a good community. And I feel very lucky because I got to work there for probably... <sighs> five years or something while I still lived in LA I got to try a bunch of new games I own Keyforge now it's on my bookshelf nice. and every game I've ever played on that show I now own um nice. I feel very very lucky and I, I miss that community I hope everyone else had a good time with Geek and Sundry too yeah uh, but really if we really dive into it it's all about the friendship I got in through friends I made friends and here we are yeah. And you can have that too with any online community. <laughs> True. I, it, it really is. I mean, folks, let, let's give up the hearts for Kate. Throw them in the chat, folks, if you Aww. got the hearts, you know, or the little hearts. The little hearts are good too. Um, but it, it's it's true. Like it's all about the community, right? And I, I do miss the Geek and Sundry community as well. Um, yeah. You know, and you know, I was grateful to be able to meet you, Beck, and all kinds of great people there. And like you were saying, like. Yeah, it's like friends for life, like you're saying, yeah. seriously. You know, we all have the common bond of, you know, geeking out and playing games mm -hmm. and stuff. But you take that past that as well, you know, beyond yeah. that. And I found that here personally, my family and I have found it here on Twitch. We were like so surprised. Like we knew what Twitch was, well, a little bit, but we didn't really understand like how much of the community aspect to it was. And yeah. we were like, we're blown away. Like, I mean, we're doing stuff like this, you know, and friends have you know responded to it and we've i feel like we've gained lifelong friends in here it, it's so cool it, it's just it, it's amazing um it's a blessing really it, it, it really is it really is speaking of blessings folks why don't we play some games this is what we're here to do we're so fired up i want to thank everyone for hanging out i want to thank kate again for hanging out and playing uh, hanging out chatting playing games with me um i'm going to let me see if i can do this correctly i would like to <laughs> Let me see. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah, total pressure. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Play games. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I've got the game started. Yeah. 
Let Wait, me know did I do this? Play first play because I'm player one. Did I, can anyone hear the volume? Because I, I wanted. Whoops! I totally just. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I can't this is awesome. That doesn't sound good. Okay, there. <laughs> I think we have the sound now. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Cool, cool. Uh, friends, this is Shards of Infinity. Uh, Kate will be going first. Um, this is a deck building game. Um, so we start with the same basic cards and then we play them. We're going <clears> to, <throat> I forget what the name of the, we get money. Well, it's money basically and combat. And it's a one-on-one -on -one game. We're just trying to, to yeah, there, pew, pew. We're doing the pew, pew, pew thing against each other. And we each start with, I think it's 50 health. And if you get down to zero, you've lost the game. And um, okay. yeah. Has any, if anyone in the chat has ever played Star Realms, this is kind of like magic light mixed with Star Realms. Agreed. Because Star Realms also, a, you've played it. It's a deck building game, right? You want to yep. bring cards in, get rid of cards. This reminded me of that when I started playing because you have the different classes that synergize with each other. Yep. You've got cards that heal you, cards that defend you, cards that deal damage to the opponent. The only difference between this, I believe, and the old Star Realms, not the new one because they brought it in, is you have champions which stay out on the board and yep. affect the game. So I'm going to try and destroy Varel's champions. He's going to try <laughs> and destroy mine because they are going to help us win the game. As exactly. far as I've seen. That was like the best like one minute explanation this game. Could. Thank you so much. That was brilliant. Like all about the synergy, baby. It, it really is, folks. If anyone in chat, if you all if you all want to clip that, that's how you play Charges of Infinity. Clip that thing and send it off. Like, that's how you play, folks. Uh, so on my turn, I've got the crystals here and, and a shard reactor. One cool thing about this, friends, is if you get there's a there's a thing called the oh my gosh now I forgot what it's called the shard the infinity shard or something like that. If you if you notice here on this card, I'll, I'll play this, the Shard Reactor, you have um, these numbers here. If you can get those, those like level up your cards, so they're going to be stronger as, as the game goes on. And there's one that if you get it, it's infinity power, you play it, and you just automatically win. What? Oh yeah. my god, I don't want to yeah. see that. That should be banned. <laughs> the thing <laughs> about it, this power is I thought it would go away if you purchased it, but no, that power stays. It's like a level up, literally. Like it totally said, it's is. Like yes. It's fascinating. So I'll play all my cards here. So I've got crystals and I've got the shard reactor. So, oh, it's focus. That's what it is. So I spend one money or crystal to get a focus. Uh, the focus number is in the little star um, emblem here, folks, right next to my health. Once you get to, you know, the certain levels here um, for the focus, that's when your cards get leveled up or are stronger. Mm -hmm. So I've got five to spend. What should I buy? Um, I like this Crypto Fist Monk. Just because it sounds cool and it looks cool, but let's see, this character allows me to draw cards, so I'll take that. Ooh! I always like drawing cards. Interesting choice. Okay. Oh, there it is—the infinity. Just gonna try okay. and psych you out. What an interesting choice you just made. I don't know if I would have done that. Really? <laughs> I don't uh -oh. know. I just wanted to psych you out. I'm totally get psyched out. I'm like, when did she see that? I don't see. <laughs> You know what I'm going to, I think I'm going to go for the Wraith. I really like the Wraith because they allow you kind of like the mechanical cards in uh, the other game, Star Realms. They let you get rid of cards in your hand and discard pile. So once I start upgrading my cards into more powerful cards that give me more power and deal more damage, I'm going to get rid of these crystal cards and these single damage cards because when I pull those later in game, practically useless. So wow. I think I might go for this <clears throat> first. Even though it's a little early to get something that discards, I think I'm going to grab it just so that you can't get it. Uh, <laughs> wow, so I'm you actually knew like the, the factions? Like I played this, you were, you were telling me earlier, you this is you just started playing this game, is that right? Is that yeah. Correct? Did I tell you how competitive and obsessive I am? Okay, so there it is, folks. I have... <laughs> I've played this game a few times, but I don't even know what these factions do and stuff. And yeah, I'm in trouble. That's what that comes down. That tasted. That tasted nice. Um, it's okay. Don't worry about that. No. Steve wow. Right okay. So here's that card I was talking about, the Infinity Shard, folks. Uh, if you get to 30 focus, you gain in an infinite amount of power combat. So basically, it's a timer. If you can get that 30 focus, it's just automatically kills your opponent. So it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. I, I think I've done it once before, once or twice before. 
That's fair. Oh. I honestly thought you were coming in here as an expert, and I'm like, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Well, you you play Keyforge with me. I'm obviously not an expert in these type of games. You Didn't know, you beat us. I'm pretty sure you beat us. Oh yeah, I did, but um, <laughs> but was I wasn't. I'm not an expert. I got lucky. <laughs> it's weird okay. how I always win. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why I, I'm going to go heavy on the uh, focus. So I'm going to get the shard abstractor. Abstract. Okay. okay, so folks, also the thing to pay attention to, these mercenaries, if I click on this, I can either fast play it, which is an instant play, and it's out of the game. I discard it. or di oh, Yeah, it's out of the game. Or I can recruit it into my deck. So I'm going to recruit it, so it's going to be part of my deck. Then I deal damage, and let's see. Uh -huh. All right. Brood. <laughs> okay, I forgot to ask you. We we do stream stacks on here. Do you have any stream stacks happening or a uh, beverage of choice that you're oh, partaking of? I'm, I'm drinking Earl Grey tea here and a nice hey. bar of water. Nice. Really? Usually Earl Grey is my go-to. That that is my go-to tea. It's the best tea. I'm not it, gonna hear otherwise. Picard's on our side. So. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, you can't argue with the what what you can't argue with Picard. <laughs> Folks, anyone Definitely. clipping that? We need to get that on. Quick. That, that's brilliant. No witnesses. I, I love the rewind. <laughs> this is uh, my friend, uh, Bottom Shelf. Uh, he says, Kate, analyzes the multiple permutations of the infinite universes. Ruel, I like the blue shiny card. <laughs> totally how I play. Yes. <laughs> I like both ways of playing. That's good. <laughs> okay, so I've gotten my thing there. Shiny blue card. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, I'm really I'm going for the focus. So I want to spend one to get a focus. So now I have three to spend. Um, hmm. this champion can't be attacked with that exhaust. Gain a hit. Okay. A reactor drone gain three money. Okay, I'm gonna you know yeah I'll get that. What the heck. This tasty looking boy. Mm. And I don't have a lot more to spend. Give three more. Man, that is not useless. Not useful to me. That is useless to me. All right. Enter. Okay, so I have a this one here, the Crypto Fist Monk. Um can draw a card. And I'll play the rest of these here. I see you You also have five focus, Kate. You are also focusing. Yes, but you... I went first, so you're technically ahead in focus, which is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so this one, the Modius Champion. <laughs> hmm. And see, this is the thing. Should I try to synergize the other cards I have, or do I just... So this I was order. this close to helping you. <laughs> Why would I do that? Oh, well, darn. I tried. Uh, we're going to go with Optio Crusher. You're still going to destroy me. Okay. Minus two. Uh, okay. All right. What are we on? Yeah. 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 One of those. I'll get three of those. Mm, tasty. All right. Now I can. I have five crystals to spend. Looking for some more synergy. Let's see. If you played another undergrowth. Ooh. Oh. Do I want to heal myself or do I want to do some damage? Oh, that's drawing a card too. I think we're going to go with that card that draws and does damage. <gasps> Ooh. And I'll get one of those drones that you got last turn too. Alrighty. Oh. Whoa. Okay. So I got my Crypto Fist Monk. Draws a card. Reactor Drone. It's three money for two crystals. Legend SDM says the last expansion on Shards of Infinity makes it cooperative. Oh, interesting. That's I do how have we nullify the rage. Yeah. That... <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Uh, Slackfish asks, have you either of you played Ascension? I have played Ascension. Have you played Ascension, Kate? I have not. Okay. I'm there's some out. there's some similarities, and I believe it's the same design team that designed the games. And actually, that. fun fact, uh, Justin Gary, one of the designers, he was a former Magic the Gathering professional player, and then he started this company. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, to design his own games. I love that for him. Yeah. <laughs> for you, honey. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Five. I'm all about drawing cards, so I'm going to get this one. Recruit. And I've got three more to spend. There's oh, the here's cop right there. Another champion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Intrigue, intrigue. Let's see. Frozen Genesis says, I really dig the artwork on these cards. Yeah, I love this whole is it a cyberpunk ish type art. Definitely. Beautiful. Now, I noticed that Kate's health keeps going up to 50. Do you have like some kind of healing power thing? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Okay, so here is my champion. I'm going to exhaust the champion to get three combat. Play the rest of my cards. Uh, let's get some focus. And... What is that little fist? Hmm, what is this? This champion. Do I have any wraiths? You know, I'm going to get this one. I'll recruit. Ooh, another race. Cool. cool. That's annoying. You took the cards I needed. <laughs> really? Yes. I mean, it's good for you. <laughs> uh, I needed those for synergy. <laughs> I need more focus. You're taking over. Hmm. You know what I think I like about this game a lot is like Star Realms. You know, Star Realms, you, you have the different factions and you're yeah. we're talking about synergy. This does it, but like on another, like the next level, I feel okay. there's like a little more going on and it's faster. It just yes. feels faster to me. I agree. Definitely more going on. Yeah. yeah. Like I like, I like the option and yeah, I'm totally talking during your turn so I can try to distract you. Um, Like you can, I like the, the like, <laughs> I like the fast play option, you know, where you can, if you want a card, you can just do it and like not, not clog up your deck with it. Oh, that's your champion count, I see. Wait, is this my turn or your turn? It's your turn. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you folks, I'm a pro at this uh, streaming You're thing. Let me tell you. It, honey. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. We got some tasty pies to buy. Ooh, this is gonna hurt you. I'm very sorry. Uh oh. I'm gonna grab these for later. Ooh. And I will also exhaust my chimp champs. <laughs> Slackfish, uh, Kate. Yeah, yeah. N not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> Bottom shell says, first law of board games, if you ask whose turn it is, it's definitely yours. <laughs> yep. That's true. That was me. <laughs> oh my god. It's true. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Mm. So do I Wah! This one my I face. Here. <laughs> um hmm. champion can't be attacked. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have a actually. Oh, I have to attack your champion first. Boom. Ouch. Pew pew. All right, all right. Let's see. I'll see how it is. Ooh, we're so close. Okay, well, I can get one. That's something. I would like more than that. I have to recruit you at the. Yep. And then at a pew pew. Okay, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get that guy. A day. Mm -hmm. And then if you have three more, no, not useful for me. All right, damage and end turn. I know I have unspent crystals. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so draw card. Game five. Exhaust the game. So exhaust this. Exhaust this. Play those. Do I think so? No, I want focus. I'm, just, yeah, focus. And then damage. Do you have any champions? No. 
All right, let's see. I'll get a couple crystals. I will play those. <gasps> Ooh, yum. Ouch for you. Ouch for you. Ooh. Triple ouch. Oh, you got your wraiths. Oh, my gosh. Grab that, and then, ooh. I'm going to grab that tasty boy. <laughs> oh, uh, boo earns. You know what? I'll just recruit. Ooh, hello. Hold up. I get to destroy one of your friends. Oh, ah. oh, I get to destroy both of your friends. Darn it. That's oh my God. brutal. That's now, brutal. I love the sound effects in this game. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of retro. They kind of remind me of a casino. It's it's very Yeah, cool. totally. Okay. So in the Infinity Shard, folks, there it is. Uh, so at 10, I gain three. At 20, I get five. And 30 focus, I gain infinity. But that's a ways off. Okay, money to burn here. So do I go for the one big card? Do I get a bunch of small cards? What do we do here? Oh, uh, spend on focus and get the one big one. And then do a little damage. Interesting, okay. I really like this, uh, this implementation. It's such a slick interface and... Oh, you got that card? Oh my gosh, really? I don't know, maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> nice turn, Kate. Okay, I'm down to twelve friends. Uh, I need, I'm in trouble. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry. Gain a card. Gain five. Oh, is there any like healing? I can't heal or anything like that. I took those cards. Oh me. no! Oh <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, exhaust champions. So. Focus. I mean, that's still going to hurt a lot, so. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. Darn it. I don't have any. Do I do this? Maybe I'm three minutes. Oh. I almost feel like I should fast. No, I'm going to recruit it. Okay, damage. Oops. All right. So 27 to 12. I'm in trouble, folks. Hopefully, I can survive <laughs> this turn. Oh, I had my shield. Thank goodness. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, draw a card. Come on. Okay. Exhaust game three. Um, then discard or oh, return a card to my hand. Oh, sweet. So I can return this one. Play this. And then I can delete or trash that one exhaust for another pew pew exhaust for a focus spend for a focus return a champion from our discard to your hand hmm. nervous now. <laughs> I know, it's getting, oh, such a good game I know, honestly, the more, this is the second time I played it, but the more I'm reading and the more I'm seeing how the fast play works, mm -hmm. this is better than games I've played before that are similar to this. This Agreed. is great. I'm Agreed. so glad you showed me this game. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to, wait, where's the fast play? It's under the mercenaries. I don't think there are any mercenaries here. Okay. Um, shoot. I'm gonna take that one. This is close. Oh no. Please tell me you have a bunch of crystals in hand. Oh no. Hopefully I can. Oh gosh. Darn it. Darn it. You're coming for me. I haven't been able to do, do damage to you the last two turns. Yeah, I, that, I was very, very fortunate. Very fortunate. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Play all these. No! He's trying yes, to focus. Yes, I don't yes. like that! Okay, I'll take this one. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So 15 to 12. I needed more card draws. I need more card draws. Oh. Oh, the champion. Darn it. I don't like that. Where are all my cards? What is happening? Okay. <laughs> no. No to that one. Okay. I'll destroy that. Okay. okay. Oh, God. I just need to live. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So I didn't have a good draw this hand. So. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Okay. Phew. Uh, this one. Can I fast play something? Where's the. Okay. Here's a. Do I go for the fast play? I think I do. Okay, I'm going to fast play this Wraith. Come on, give me some damage. Get set up to 10. Oh, that's it? Oh, I have a champion, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this it? Oh, thank you for the shield. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. That was so close. Interrupted by a raid. Oh, do we have a raid coming in? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Like hard core case. Okay. okay. Let me uh, get the raiding hat on. Uh, folks, we are. Thank you for the raid. Uh, let me see who it was. It was uh, Hard Board Games. Thanks for the raid. Thank you. We've got the raiding hats on. I'm here hanging out with my friend Kate Elliott. She's got her raiding hat on. Looks like a birthday <laughs> hat. Uh, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. What were y'all playing? We are hanging out playing Shards of Infinity. Um, thank you for the raid. My raid hat is off to you, friends. Let's get back to the game. Um, whoops, that's not it. There it is. Is it my turn? It is. Turn a card to my hand. Ooh. Okay. That focus. That focus is going to kill me. So discard pile. I'm going to banish this one. So that's trashed. Oh, this champion. Let me play the rest of these crystals. Exhaust this champion. Exhaust this champion. Oh, I'm not going to have Stop enough. Stop it. Oh, I'm not going to have enough. So close. Stop it. <laughs> so oh my close. God. You're, oh, wait, we're both at two. Is this it? Where are the mercenaries when you need them? Oh, you got up to five. All oh, you and your healing. Oh, oh my god. No. I was so stressed. <laughs> oh my gosh. You did it, Kate. GG. <laughs> Gig. Oh my GG. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Came a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. That thank you for playing. That, that was you had that last turn. Oh, that was so good. Ooh, those oh. shields. You overtook me in the focus, and I was like, oh, I had no card draw, no focus. I yeah. had to win that round. Or you were gonna smash me. I, I felt like, yeah, that was it. We got yeah. to the very last turn of basically the game right there, and yeah, the shields. Your shields really. <laughs> that was the key, I think. Um, <laughs> my my focus was close, but uh, the, the shields. By the way, we've got some uh, friends spending bits, so that means Benny the Bit Spare. Hey. Hello, friends. Thank you for spending the bits. We have <laughs> played Shards of Infinity with Kate Elliott. Thank you so much. This has been fun and. Ruel's voice is going to be trashed after this, but it's worth <laughs> it. Thank you. <laughs> Friends, this has been Shards of Infinity. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. I love this game. I think it's such a great, good deck builder. You know, yeah. it's it can play up to four, but I feel like these type of games is just best at two, you know? It's fun. It's, it feels like one of those games that's fun to get through and then do another one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Kate, I want to thank you for your time. I really appreciate you just taking the time to hang out with me tonight. I mean, we're and... going to do this again real soon, right? <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. You know, we're really good at this and crush me. I hope so. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not good at these names. So, you know, <laughs> you, you have you have avenged your loss to me. At yes, I did. Thank you. 
<laughs> so <laughs> down the line. Very yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, before we get going here, Kate, would you like to uh, let people know where they can find you on the internet? Oh, I'd love that, darling. Thank you so much for watching here on Rail's channel. Don't forget to give him a follow and a subscribe. He deserves it. He's a wonderful man and a great friend, and I hope you get to hang out with him more. If you would like to hang out with me more, I hope you do because I love you. Come see me on Twitter at Kate's Tweets and see what I'm up to. I love you a lot. Thanks for playing with us and bug Wirral so I can come back and play more games with him. Yay. Awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do this again, Kate. And we're going to have to find something else that I can actually have a chance at winning. Oh, I'm um, ready to have a championship. <laughs> show. Absolutely. Definitely. Put real money on it. <laughs> no. Yeah, there you go. Uh, friends, again, that that is um, Shards of Infinity from our friends over there at Ultra Pro slash uh, Stoneblade uh, Entertainment. You can pick up your own copy over at Board Game Paradise in Redlands, California. And and um, we're going to get ready to raid someone else. But on behalf of Kate, I want to thank you all for joining us. Stick around for the raid, friends. Yes, hearts, little hearts as well. Be safe. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other. And we'll see you later. Bye, everybody.